Another big day for UCLA as they put a 10 spot on the board and sweep the Oregon Ducks. Ryan Kreidler, one of the offensive heroes, goes two for three, has a home run, two runs, and two RBIs. Ryan, it wasn't just a great day. You actually had a pretty good week against uh, Northridge on Tuesday. You had five RBIs in that uh, that 15 run outburst. Fun week for you guys. Yeah, it was super fun. Um, kind of got back on track. We had a couple tough weekends in the pack and um, came out on Tuesday. We had a Double header, kind of a tough one in the first one, and then we, we really turned it around and carried it over to the weekend, so it was a good start for us. Yeah, I know your family's here, and you hit that home run. It wasn't just your family that got excited, UCLA fans. Your teammates really enjoy watching you knock this ball over the boards. Yeah, well, nobody thought I could do it. Um, Jaron Silva always talks bad about me. He says I'm small, but <laughs> it's all right. You know, I, I appreciate it. Jaron's my little buddy, and um, I just appreciate him talking because it feels a lot better, you know. Well, Kreitz, you started the year at shortstop, and then you moved over to third base. Was that a tough transition initially? Uh, no, you know, I played a little third base last year. It wasn't um, totally foreign to me. I was, I was looking forward to playing some shortstop for us, but Kevin's doing a hell of a job, and um, that kid makes a lot of plays that, that he makes a lot of plays look really easy that other players might not even make. So I'm um, really happy to have him over there. I think our infield's doing well right now, and I'm happy at third base. Well, you were part of last year's club of the sensational freshmen that I, I would basically call you from Idens and then Strump and Tolia and yourself. Uh, if you start hitting the way I know you can and the way you can, I mean, it's got to bode well. I see your smile on your face. I mean, it's a great thing to see because it's going to be, you guys are going to be tough to deal with come postseason. Yeah, you know, we want to be playing our best ball, you know, in, in May and June, and that's what we've talked about since we got here in the fall. Um, and I think we're on the right track to doing that. We've had some up, ups and downs, and uh, but this is a good weekend for us, getting us back on track, and we're looking forward to Corvallis this weekend. Yeah, we saw you guys against SC, and you're, you just looked like world beaters. And then, yeah, you had that dip midseason. It looks like you've gotten the offense back. Now this series is over, so now we can look ahead at what's going on. Huge series in Corvallis next week. But I'm just guessing you're a competitor. You want to go up there. You want to take them on. Uh, Oregon State is losing to USC today, so they may not be the number one team, but number one, number two, one of the best teams in the country, and you get three shots at them. Absolutely. You know, it's a, it's going to be a great environment up there. They have a lot of good fans, um, nice stadium, and they got a great team, so we're looking forward to going up there and getting some wins.